uh, our proceedings at the Senate. Senator Miraj, proceed to dispatch and cast your vote. Live pictures there from the Kenyan Senate, uh, historic day uh, in the Kenyan Parliament where the Senate has approved, has upheld the impeachment, the removal from office uh, by impeachment of Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa. Um, following uh, that voting we've just seen, uh, 11 council members were, up, were level against the DP, uh, uh, five of them have been approved by the Senate. Six of them have been rejected. Uh, we shall be going through the list a bit later on to see where what the senators uh, had to say. Uh, very shortly, we shall be taking you to uh, the Senate to hear what the final tally looks like. Um, Rosalind, I wanted to f get a feel of, um, a lot of Kenyans will be talking about where did the rain start beating, you know, the DP. First of all, the DP and his political um, career, but also the relationship uh, between the two of them. Remember, in the run-up to the 2022 election, uh, there was a lot of drama uh, as the president, William Ruto, was picking his running mate um, among the UDA or Kenya Kwanzaa uh, parliamentary group. A lot of them wanted uh, Kivure Kindiki, uh, then the Rakanidi senator. Uh, very few wanted uh, to go the way of Rigathi Gashagwa, but the president dug in his heels and had his way. And uh, Kenyans or Kenya Kwanzaa uh, supporters um, were hopeful of a good partnership. Where did the rain start beating these two? Uh, ben, I think this was a marriage of convenience uh, because, just as we have indicated, remember we stayed long nights. Uh, to just to get who will be picked as a running mate of, of President William Ruto. And there were talks, and you remember even the MPs have been coming out to say he was not our choice. Uh, but the president decided that this was the person that he thought was the right person to, to be his running mate. And you remember even during the swearing-in, you know the drama that went around the swearing-in, and even his speech... Uh, on that particular day when they were, they were taking the oath of office. And you remember the commitments he made and the warnings that he released. And from there, uh, Kenyans were asking, is this the right person that we should have as a deputy president? Uh, fast forward, uh, you know how he has been outspoke, uh, outspoken uh, in terms of govern, uh, government issues. But I think where exactly things started uh, looking like they were not together is during the first holiday for the tree planting. Remember when the deputy president did not accompany the president to Bomet to, to plant the trees. Uh, then after that, there were the, the news uh, media reports that things were not okay. Uh, it, it seems like there was a bit of friction within uh, uh, the two gentlemen. And uh, you remember the deputy president coming out a week after he had actually stayed off uh, national events which were presided by his boss. And he indicated that he was doing soul searching and he had uh, gone to consult the gods and he went to the mountain. And I think up to now, the question should be, where, where did the two uh, pathways, because it's only the two who can actually tell us what really happened. But now with the impeachment coming and the charges that have been uh, leveled against the deputy, uh, the deputy president, you've had the, the, the sponsor of this special motion and even some of the members who have actually supported this motion saying it was just a matter of time. Uh, before this happened because some had individually reached out to him 
uh, to talk to him. Some had actually expressed their concerns. Uh, you remember last week when you hosted the, the, the member of um, uh, the MP from Bere South, uh, Geoffrey Ruko, yeah. and he actually opened up and said that personally, even the head of state had reached out to him uh, to just approach the deputy president and talk to him to actually change his ways. So I think it was something boiling. They just needed a trigger so that they were able to actually come out and call him to order. And maybe the only option that they had, the remedy to all the issues that they were having in the party, yeah. was to actually now sponsor the impeachment motion. And I think it is something that even the courts have made pronouncement on, that impeachment motions, uh, uh, impeachment uh, motion are one of the routes that, that you can actually use to ensure there is dignity in the office of a state officer, in terms of credibility, accountability, and holding on to the oath of office. All right. Just to go through some of the, um, the charges, the charges and how the senators voted. Of course, we did uh, in that first charge um, of gross violation of Articles 10. Uh, of course, that is uh, undermining. undermining national unity. Uh, 53 lawmakers voting yes. Uh, while 13 voted no. Um, in the second uh, charge, uh, 28 voted yes, uh, 39 voted no. And of course, uh, we've seen also on the third charge, gross um, 19 voted yes, 46 voted no, so they shot that one down. Um, fourth charge, 51 voted yes, 16 voted no. So that was uh, approved by the senators. Mm -hmm. uh, the ground five, um, 49 voted yes, 16 voted no, while well, two abstained. On ground six, um, uh, committing crimes, um, uh, that, is, uh, under, that is under National, under National Cohesion and Integration Act, um, 47 voted yes, 18 voted no, ground seven, 14 voted yes, 52 overwhelmingly uh, shooting that one down, one abstaining. Uh, just some of the figures we are getting from the floor of the Senate. Uh, five charges approved, remember six charges uh, shot down by the senators. Rigathi Gashagwa uh, impeached as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Um, Benji, um, what is your prediction in terms of uh, what next for the truthful man? Um, he will be <coughs> out of politics, electoral politics, for 10 years. Uh, remember, there is, um, he can go to court. Uh, uh, let's uh, go back to the Senate and listen to, this, to the speaker. Abstention zero. So the high eyes have it. Charge number two. Eyes 28. Nays 39, abstention 0. So the nays have it. Charge number 3. Ayes 19, nays 45, abstention 3. So the nays have it. Charge number 4. The ayes at 51, nays at 16, abstention at 0. The ayes have it. Charge number five, ayes 49, nays 16, abstention two. So the ayes have it. Charge number six, ayes at 48, nays at 18, abstention one. So the ayes have it. Charge number seven, the ayes 13, nays 53, abstention one, so the nays have it. Charge number eight, eyes 27, nays 40, abstention zero, so the nays have it. Charge number nine, eyes 46, nays 20, abstention one, so the eyes have it. Charge number 10, eyes 22, Nays 45, abstention 0. The nays have it. Charge number 11. The ayes 18, nays at 
47, abstention 2. So the nays have it. Now, honorable senators, the result of the division indicate that the Senate has upheld the following impeachment grounds. One, gross violation of Articles 10 to A, B, and C, 274, 731A, and 2B, 751C, and 129.2 of the Constitution, and Article 147.1 as read together with Article 131.2C and D of the Constitution. Four, gross violation, ground number four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution on the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Ground number five, gross violation of Articles 3.1, and 148, 5A of the Constitution and the fidelity to the oath of office and allegiance. Ground number six, serious reasons to believe that His Excellency the Deputy President has committed crimes under sections 13, 1A and 62 of the National Cohesion and Integration Act. Ground number nine, gross misconduct that is incompatible with the high calling and dignified status of the office of the Deputy President and a member of the Cabinet and the National Security Council. His Excellency, the Deputy President, has publicly attacked and undermined work of the National Security Intelligence Service and its officers. Now, Honorable Senators, pursuant to Article 145.7 and 151b and 2 of the Constitution and Standing Order 78.8 of the Senate, the Senate has resolved to remove from office by impeachment His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Accordingly, His, Ex His Excellency Rigathi Gashagwa AGH ceases to hold office. I thank you. You may rise, Honorable Senators. Now, honorable senators, there being no business on the order paper, the Senate stands adjourned until Tuesday, the 22nd of October, 2024, at 2.30 p.m. There you have it, the Senate uh, just... Uh, at about 27 shy.